Hello to my fellow HO slot car racing fans. This is Mark Natividad once again from West Coast Slot Cars over in Los Angeles, California. And I hope that this video finds everybody healthy and safe. And we are a few days before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. And I hope that you have a lot to be thankful for, as I do as well. And on that note, I'd like to say thank you to all the manufacturers for keeping our cars on the track and creating products and producing things so we can enjoy this wonderful hobby. And I will say thank you to everyone and include uh, alphabetically in order. I'd like to say thank you to AFX, to Hardin Creek Slot Cars, to Scale Auto, to Viper, and to Wizard High Performance. And thank you for making this hobby fun and keeping it alive. So without further ado, and you've been looking at this frame for about a minute now, subliminally, you're, uh, you know that this video is going to be about the AFX SRT slot car. And these were distributed by Race Masters and produced by Tomy. And these are from, I hope you can see that in the frame here, copyright 2001. So. 2001 so next year these cars will be 20 years old and happy birthday to the afx srt slot car so srt stands for super racing turbo and this is the chassis that fx produced after they finished with the tomi turbo so this is basically a tomi turbo chassis with a few different modifications and the Tomy, Tomy Turbo had two different chassis. One was a, a narrow chassis, one was a wide, or basically without the tabs and with the tabs. So the ones without the tabs were for the Indy cars, and the ones with the tabs were for the wider body cars like these NASCARs. I'm gonna move that out of the way here and bring in the chassis itself. This is the bone stock AFX SRT chassis, and the changes in the chassis were basically here. This is the neodymium magnet. So they did away with the ceramic bar mag magnet in the Tomy Turbo. And so that they can call it a super racing turbo added two neodymium magnets that actually slide in here. And the second thing is the axle. The axle is the same exact axle on the Super G Plus car. The same thing would be the crown gear and the gear boss. However, the G Super G Plus hubs are different from the hubs on the Super Racing Turbo. All right, so there you have it. There's the top side of the car. And since we're talking about the top side of the car, I will go ahead and get into the maintenance, the oiling here, because a lot of people ask me, because it's, it's kind of hard to find if you don't know how to oil or where to oil. I'm going to show you and take all the guesswork out of it. So. Usually before I run a car, if it's out of the package or it's been sitting a while, I want to oil each axle where it connects to the chassis. I want to put a drop of oil here at the front of the motor bushing and also the rear of the motor bushing, which we'll get to in a second, and also a drop of oil here and here where the rear axle meets the chassis. The biggest issue on this car, oh, I just lost a tire, just moved it off there. The biggest issue on this car is, is that people really don't know how to get to the back of the, uh, the rear bushing, so I'm going to show you. Let me move it into a good position and I hope I don't block this. I use a flat blade screwdriver, I'm going to wedge that in one side, push the clip to one side, the outer side, the outside of the car, and then wedge it in there, push the clip, there we go, I think I just launched it but I got it because I'm working on a towel. Ha <laughs> ha, good old towel. All right, so now you have access to the rear bushing, which is going to be there. And you wanna put a small drop of oil there. And once you're done, put the clip back on and that clip retains the bar magnet here from sliding in and out. That's all it's for. So there you go. There are the bare bones of the AFX SRT chassis. Let me move my tools. So performance upgrades, let's talk about that. Pretty simply, if you want to do a simple upgrade and get a little bit better performance out of the car, all you'll need to do is remove the stock rear tires 
and the stock rear tires are going to be 0.458, the outer diameter with the tire on the hub. And I'm going to replace those stock rubber tires with some stock 0.458 super tires. So that is the easiest and the most direct replacement. It's an on and off, no tools required, very simple, and it's going to make your car handle and stick to the track a lot better. You will appreciate them. Easy to clean, I just use a soft cloth and some water on it and I just wipe the tires and they're ready to go again. So there you go. There's the simplest upgrade that you can do to get a little bit better performance out of your SRT slot car. With that being said, let's talk about the next level of performance, which I need to bring in this next chassis. This is my my racing car, the car that I race with and the car that I use to race my other buddies in the club with. So this is my uh, SRT setup. I have removed the uh, heat shield down here. It allows the motor to to work and you know not get so hot. Some people would argue that it's more aerodynamic with it on, but to each their own. And the upgrades on here are basically from Harden Creek slot cars. I use their HCS AMG single flange front and rear hubs. So there's the rear hub and there's the front hub. And I believe you get a set of two from uh, Hardin Creek. And don't forget to say hi to Terry from Mark over at West Coast Slot Cars when you make your order. And the tires are the Super Tire. It's the 200 series. And I use a 0 .420 uh, 200 series tire on those hubs. So stock, we're looking at the sizes and the diameters. It's 0.458 for a stock rear hub and a rear tire. And it's a 0.395 for a stock hub and a stock front tire. With the new setup, we're going to drop this back down to a 0.448 from which was the 458. So that's going to drop your rear end down. And then from the front side, we're going to drop that down to a 0 0.380 using a, a lifelike tire. So I prefer the lifelike tire. It seems to work well. And I have some other friends, buddies in the club. They're using the uh, Mega G tire, the front tire off of the Mega G. So whatever works best for you. And lastly, the last upgrade here is the full contact pickup shoe. And I will compare that to the stock for you so that you can kind of see as this one has a step in it. That's the stock. And then this is the performance upgrade with the longer pickup shoe. And as you can see, and this car has been run a lot, you see that full black line on both of the pickup shoes at the full length of the shoe. That's exactly what you want. You'll need to adjust those shoes so that you can make that happen. So um, I also must say, Make sure that if you are installing hubs that you have the proper tools necessary to put these hubs on straight. Otherwise, I would say don't bother trying to use a hammer and the hammer method could because those hubs don't always go on straight. You need to have the proper tools and you know what they say, your slot cars are only as good as you and your tools. So it's that's so true. You'll notice a, a really amazing performance difference in the way the car sounds and the way the car handles. Now the car would be lower to the track. The traction magnets are closer to the rails. You'll get a little bit more uh, stick on the curves and be able to fly through those curves with no problem. And uh, just so you can see the CNC machined hubs on both wheels. I hope that's in focus good enough. And then that here's the stock. You can really tell the difference on the stock one. There we go. As I spin that wheel, you see how out of round that hub is? So that's going to create some wobble on your car. So your front end is going to be vibrating down the track. Uh, you'll be able to hear it actually. So those are the pretty simple upgrades for the cars. And going over the parts again, the uh, hubs are from uh, Harden Creek and the Pickup shoes are from Scale Auto. I believe you can also get full contact pickup shoes from Viper. So just re cross-reference uh, SRT AFX slot cars 
and you'll be able to find the parts that you need. All right, so there's our two beauties there. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for subscribing my videos and thank you for your comments. Thank you for your likes and I always appreciate that and I love sharing this hobby with everyone. I like to do these videos and I wanted to do this video this Thanksgiving because uh, I know that a lot of you are off and the kids aren't on online school and there'll be a lot of slot cars being raced and where the weather is getting colder in the Midwest on the East Coast there'll be lots of slot car racings to be had. All right, that's it for today. Enjoy your hobby. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Be well, stay healthy, have a wonderful and a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll try to pump out another video here before Christmas so that uh, so that you won't be bored. All right. All right. In the meantime, you guys, take care, be well. Happy racing from West Coast Slot Cars. And again, this is Mark Native at from West Coast Slot Cars in Los Angeles, California saying goodbye for now. Take care. Bye-bye.